All right, so here we are in a field, one of our fields of GMO corn. And you can kind of see it here. Um, not a dangerous looking crop by any means, uh, nor is it threatening or uh, harmful in any way. You can go and uh, touch it with your bare hands. You can walk around in it. Farmers will go out and, and check their corn, uh, look up and down the rows. You know, people go in corn mazes all the time. Uh, not a big deal at all to be to be around it. Um, and in my opinion, it's it's actually a very beautiful beautiful crop. And you can kind of see here some of some of our Kansas scenery. Um, and I, I feel like corn is a is a part of that scenic view. It's a very scenic crop, um, especially with with how high it grows. Uh, you can kind of see here how tall it is compared to to my head. You know, about 10 feet tall. Um, and so one of the tallest crops that is, that is grown, and, and it's really remarkable to think about how many people um, this one field of corn feeds, or, or in our case, um, how many animals that it feeds to, to provide beef um, for people to eat. And so uh, we're going to go ahead here and examine one of these ears. I've taken the liberty of um, peeling back the husk already, so we'll go ahead and break this off. You can kind of see here, um, looks pretty normal uh, compared to any sort of regular corn, you know, genetically modified does not um, change the appearance whatsoever of corn. And again, it, it does not look dangerous, does not look evil. Um, the only thing that you can really, you can really see is um, kind of the yield difference. And um, this, this ear of corn is obviously very large and, and um, is producing quite a few kernels. And um, that, is, that is just due to the um, technology of the, the resistance of the genetic modification. Um, it just produces um, resistance to different things that allows the farmer to, to grow the corn um, to produce more kernels per uh, ear and more, more bushels to the acre. So. A lot of people like to label GMOs, um, you know, on the internet, they like to label GMOs as poison or toxic, and um, I believe the definition of poison is, is something that can um, cause uh, illness or death um, through ingestion, and uh, we, uh, our family have been growing, um, we've been growing GMO crops for about the last 15 years, and um, we actually eat our own crops from the field. Um, each year we'll, we'll pick uh, ears of corn um, when they're uh, at the right stage where it's nice and squishy to eat and uh, we'll take them home and, and boil them up and, and eat them and um, we've been doing this for about the past 15 years. We've never had any sort of illness, um, never, obviously none of us have ever died. Um, and so um, I don't believe um, that GMOs are poisonous uh, if you can eat them and uh, I'll go ahead and that uh, they are not poisonous. Go ahead and husk another one here. And uh, not afraid to take a nice bite of the GMO corn. Again, the family does this year after year. It's actually pretty good. Obviously not as good as sweet corn, but um, we have all of this field corn. It's all free, and um, you know, it tastes pretty good. If you put a little butter on it, I don't have any butter right now, but uh, it's still pretty good. I really ate it. I'm not faking it. So yeah, you can eat GMO corn and not get sick. And um, it is not poisonous. All right, so here we are back in our field of GMO soybeans. Um, soybeans is another GMO crop that we grow here on our farm along with corn. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did with corn uh, with the soybean plant. Go ahead and show you here uh, what a soybean plant looks like. Uh, again, not dangerous or evil in appearance, um, just as corn. Um, you can handle it with your hands, you don't need any protective gear or anything like that. Here 
is the pod from the soybean. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little taste test for you, just like I did with the corn, um, just to show that we as farmers, um, you know, we'll eat the food that we grow. Um, this isn't quite like corn. Uh, my family, we don't typically eat our soybeans, but um, they're definitely not dangerous to eat. Um, I feel like, you know, if a farmer is not willing to eat his own crops, um, then, then he really has no business uh, marketing those or trying to sell those to the public and um, every farmer that I know uh, eats his own crops and and is willing to to promote his own crops as something that he likes and enjoys and so um, I feel like that should be the general rule and I hope that um, you know me being out here um, standing and walking through my crops and uh, eating them uh, has shown that uh, I'm not scared of them and uh, hopefully um, neither should you